First, this Caribbean wave scenario hosted by the National Disaster Management Agency, NADMA, is a first of its kind. It involved a simulated eruption of Kikum Jenny, triggered by a 6.0 magnitude earthquake at a depth of 10 kilometers, which triggers a tsunami with waves of up to 0.86 meters. The exercise took place simultaneously on the sister isle of Karakou and Piti Martinique, as the two areas are in close proximity to Kikum Jenny. Students from surrounding schools, business people and police were evacuated and moved to the muster point at MacDonald College. Acting Disaster Coordinator at NADMA, Sylvan McIntyre, says today's exercise gives them the opportunity to point out areas for improvement should a real-life scenario occur. Today's simulation detected one grey area. We recognize one of the, the key areas was that of the communication process and this is likely to happen in a real situation Things would be obviously more chaotic than it has been today. But through the chaos, we have to find some semblance of organization and some sense of routine that people can follow. And I am re reasonably satisfied that if we had to have done this for real, that people would have been forewarned, not to the extent to which we expected or planned for, but I am comfortable that, yes, we are going to be able to save thousands of people through this exercise that we saw here today. From the 2018 drill, he says one of the weaknesses recognized was that of people not hearing the alert. So the areas that were weaker in the last exercise in July of 2018, we have capitalized on building it and doing it better and differently. But the, one of the reasons why people did not hear the sirens at the time they should have heard it, again, it led back to the same passage of the information. So the information from some end was slow to coming so that that loud siren were not heard at the time it should have been heard. The church bells, the school bells, the sirens from whatever end, it is written into the local procedure for St. Patrick. At this time, church bells were used as a backup to the sirens, which appears to have worked, according to McIntyre. The purpose of the Caribbean Wave exercise is to improve the effectiveness of tsunami warning systems along the Caribbean coast. The parish of St. Patrick has been certified tsunami ready in 2018. Christina John, GBN News.